I woke up in a stranger's house today, uploaded by Nova Winfrey. I woke up today in a bed I didn't know. I gazed around at the floor wallpaper and pictures of people that I had never met. They graced each inch of the wall. A man entered the room. Each wrinkle on his pale face showed individual stories, ones of heartache. He also had smile lines, so at least I know he used to laugh. He looked at me with a face of stone, but his eyes still had a certain brightness. It was almost as if I had been the reason for them to glow. He placed a wooden tray in front of me. I made you some oatmeal. I know you're probably not hungry, but at least try, he said in a whisper. He was right. I wasn't hungry. The only craving I had was to know where the hell I was and why this elderly man was staring at me. I felt comforted by his presence, though, which confused me even more. I could hear the sound of a golf game playing on the TV in the other room. Quiet claps were all that filled my ears. The last thing I remember was riding my bicycle. It was a bright red one with white tassels on each handle. I was riding down the street, one that I knew. Inside my head, I could hear lawnmowers and dogs barking. I could almost smell the freshly cut grass. Then I went back to reality. The old man was sitting beside me, and he reached for my hand. I pulled away. My mind still didn't completely absent of any memories of him. A tear rolled down his left eye, and they darkened a bit. I didn't feel bad for rejecting him. I pitied him. Why was he here? I stood up from the bed and collapsed back down. The man rushed to my side. I have to go to the restroom, I said. The man grabbed both of my hands and led me into the bathroom. It was ocean-themed. Seashells were on the towels, dolphins on the walls, and a humongous mirror. I didn't understand why I was so weak. That's when I turned towards the mirror and I saw another face that I didn't know. She looked old and wrinkled. Her face was pale and her white hair had several pink curlers. That's when I realized. This woman is me. The man turned to me and said, Are you okay, Loretta? I replied, I'm fine, Herb. I wonder how I knew his name. I wondered again who the hell Loretta was. He laid me back into bed. You know I love you, he uttered. I feel as if I love him too. But why?